Hey guys, it's Messenger with Paint Cult, and today we're going to talk about pen sharpening brushes. How to store them, how to take care of them, how to oil them, how to trim them if needed, and the different types of pen sharpening brushes and their purposes. So stay tuned. Alright, what we have here is four different pen sharpening brushes. The top one is a Kafka. This one's more for doing like scroll type work, like what you see on lowriders and such. This is like a long line or a coach line brush. It's designed to do long lines on a car and is actually one of Billy from Straight Lines brushes. This is a Vondego double auto. And this is a King 13, both made by Mac. And these two brushes are used for making designs like Von Dutch style. And you can also do long lines with them too. So typically when you get a new brush, it comes in a tube like this. And this type of tube is great for shipping, but it's not very good for long-term storage. So when you get your brush, you want to get it out and you want to get it oiled. Sometimes you'll notice after you oil it for the very first time that you have a few little scrapers at the end. This usually doesn't happen with, you know, nicer brushes like the Dagos, but sometimes you'll find that you'll need to trim just a little bit of a scraggler hairs off the end of the brush so you want to lay it on something flat make sure it's nice and flat and you want to use a nice sharp blade and just barely trim off those scragglers don't get in the belly of the brush just on the tip there you'll notice if you need to trim those the very first time you use it especially now if you notice all these brushes are oiled I keep them stored in oil at all times. What I like to do is after I've cleaned up my brush and gotten it dry from whatever paint I was using, then I'll dip it in a cup of oil, get the excess off, and then I'll use my fingers just to run through it, make sure it's really nice and in those hairs. The oil keeps the brush preserved and keeps the hairs soft. When you're storing your brush, you don't really want them rolling around and bouncing around. One cheap way you could do it is just some foam. And you can see here I've cut some slits. And I can easily just place the brush in there. And it keeps it from rolling around, keeps it from getting hit or bumped. A nicer way to do it would be to get a brush box. As you can see it's got these springs. Some of them have foam inserts or plastic inserts to hold your brush. You just want to be able to put it in there and store it so it won't move around. I like to store them with this side down. That's the way I like to do it. I find that that works really well for keeping my brushes safe. I've seen some people store them in a brush box, kind of like this with nothing, and the brushes just roll around and bounce around and they get damaged that way. But if you store them in something that holds them nice and steady, you don't have to worry about that. Always make sure your brushes are clean, make sure they're oiled, and they'll last you a long time. 